Hey, sorry everyone, it's been such a long time since my last update, but I've worked out some things and this is the product of all the time that I've not updated anything on YouTube. Okay, um, this is what's going to be the next cell. These are three double helix designs which fit perfectly inside of each other like this and this is what's going to hold the cell my new container like everyone else uses um, with connectors already done and stuff I just need some very small screws to fit through there in stainless steel and I couldn't find some yet. Okay, new container, new cell. Um, oh, by the way, I want to isolate those cells with this plastic sheet here. Uh, wait a second. Oh, well. So, like this, I'm gonna roll it like this glue it together and it fits in there because I want to attach this cell in series and series cells should always be isolated uh, as good as possible from each other okay um, what you see here is a tungsten rod with a green tip that means it's oh, yeah, okay you can see it's green um, that means it's pure tungsten with no additives and I'm going to use this in a plasma electrolysis cell which I haven't built yet but maybe you'll see something on that about that on YouTube too. Okay and the next thing I'm working on since yesterday I had a quick idea yesterday um, it's the WRT54G model by Linksys and the LED you can see here is a replacement for an LED that's been in there, an SMD LED, before. And this LED is connected to a GPIO, General Purpose Input Output Pin, on the board of this wireless access router. And I can switch this LED on and off by software. I've heard those pins are good for switching rates of up to megahertz or something so I'm thinking about putting an optocoupler to here a, mo a MOSFET to this optocoupler and maybe I have a pulsing system ready then for the cell I still need some piece of software that hammers this uh, optocoupler at a specific frequency but I guess I'll find something alright um, thanks for watching again see ya